Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Awesome To Be Toys. My name is David and today I have the Transformers Legacy drag strip. And he's a Decepticon right here. You can see on the side a closer look of his face. Um, this is a picture of box art right here. You can see him holding his rifle right there. And this is his odd mode. You can mount his rifles on there. And it's pretty cool. Um, you watch the G1 Transformers. You remember how he looks like and he looks very similar to the G1. Uh, let's look in the back. You can transform this guy within 17 steps from robot to his Otmo, which is a race what F1 car, into 17 steps. So you change him back. So in order to um, combine them into a bigger transformer, he's one out of the five. So you need kind of like all fives in order to do that. And yeah. Right here, you can see on the side the box art, right, and he's one of them, Megatron, right there. Okay, let's open up and see what's inside the box. Um, if you're new to my channel and have hit the subscribe button, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please smash the like button. And if you have any comments, leave down the comments below. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get future notification of my new video on this channel. And yes, yeah, let's, let's open up in here. And you can see drag strip. Take him out. And that is the box. And this is drag strip. Some warnings and warranties. Put that aside. And this is how to transform him within 17 steps. This is the instruction and on how to mount his rifles. And this is the back. That's pretty cool. And this is all his weapons. And yeah, this direct strip. There's nothing in the back, so I'm gonna take him out. All right, drag strip is out from the box and look at him. Look at his face. It looks pretty awesome. Um, on the side, in the back, uh, it looks pretty clean. Except all these metal parts and screws right here. But yeah, he looks pretty uh, thin, decent size. Uh, he's a deluxe class. Usually these deluxe class are um, 19, 1999 to $25. And yeah, I ordered this from GameStop. So I think I got it for like $22.99. Don't remember exactly. I got it on sale. Um, here you can mount his gun. Right there. Dual mount. I remember his Transforms G1 orders only come with one, but it's cool that they give you two. And this thing, I think you could combine them together like this. Yeah, so it looks pretty awesome. Look at that. Very clean. Now let's look at his head. Um, he could do a full rotation on the head. He can nod. Uh, full rotation on the arm. Uh, swivel on the bicep. 90 degree bend or more than 90 degree bend. Yeah, 120. Uh, single joint elbow. His fist, you cannot rotate. Same with this side. You swivel on the bicep, bend on the elbow. Um, full turn on the waist. No shoulder movement. Swivel on the thigh. 90 degree, degree bend on the legs. Front kick. A side kick. A rear kick. A split that's pretty awesome he can move his foot like that so you can do a better pose you can swing that open pose it like that wider stand that's pretty awesome uh, mainly yellow a little bit brownish right here his head seemed like he wearing like headphones but that's kind of weird but yeah that's the only thing I don't like about the head but he looks pretty nice yeah, so I'm going to transform him and I'll be back. 
All right, guys, so yeah, just transform him, and I have the previous drag strip from the Combiner War series. And yeah, this is the previous one, and this is the current one. And this, the Legacy looks so much better, look more like G1 than the Combiner Wars. The Combiner Wars is kind of lazy, they just do whatever. Um, but this one, they pay more attention to the cartoon, and it's more cartoon accurate, as you can see. And let's put this on the side, and yeah, with the guns, you can mount it on here on vehicle mode. So he can also be on the attack mode also, and you can see the back. Um, Feel disappointment. They could have done better on with the wheels. Maybe add like a hubcap, make it look more sporty instead of a little yellow thing right here where it snap in. And the back's kind of weird. And yeah, the back here doesn't like you can't bring it up. Um, if they could adjust this thing, it would look a lot better. But yeah, no complaints for like around twenty five bucks. Yeah, this one looks good compared to the previous generation one and uh, it's a lot bigger you can see but it doesn't look more like a f1 race car with the previous one but this one looks more cartoon accurate so let's take it out the guns and the stripe i like the decepticon symbol right there uh, complain about this is his head it's right here um without his head i think you can put like a person like a driver right there and everything's pretty cool. Um, it, it can roll, but not as good. So, yeah. Um, let's transform him back to robot mode. So, okay. So, what you want to do, you want to do is feet, take it apart, transform him in 17 steps. So, yeah, it's not that hard. It's just like my first time transforming him. It's kind of time consuming. I didn't know I w what I was doing. So I remember that I rotate this thing somehow. Oh, and open this, this leg right here. And you pull his leg out. Like that. And I'm going to close this part up. Same with this side. And this is his feet. Then you do a full rotation like that. And this part is kind of tricky. I didn't know. So you have to open this up and rotate this around. This is his chest. And for some reason, it pegs right here. Kind of odd. And then you pull it down. So this form the shoulders. And you bend this like that. As you can see. And this head, you want to flip it like up like that. And there's a little swing right here. And you want to swing it and peg it down to... There. there you go. This and this part you have to turn it up like that. And turn and rotate that. And here is drag strip and he looks pretty good. And mount is done right there. And what do you think? Do you like drag strip? Um, are you gonna buy all five to combine them to Minosaur? Uh, he does look good. I'm gonna transform the other drag strip and I'll let you guys see how he looks like compared to this guy. All right, so I got the other drag strip to transform and you can compare them. Which one you like better, Combiner Wars or Legacy Line? You can see face to face, which one look more like G1? And right there, look the face on here. Um, disappointment doesn't have a like a Decepticon symbol on this one. This guy has Decepticon symbol, which is good. But his Decepticon symbol is in half, so we can't really see that. But yeah, if you can buy a sticker and put it on him, that'd be awesome. So yeah, uh, compare in the back. 
this one the vinyl war is kind of bulky heavy on the top this one's more thin more g1 like streamlined yeah and both the guys are a deluxe class so i want to come compare it to another deluxe class is kickback they're about the same size I really like kickback it looks very g1 yeah but yeah it looks pretty clean I like the legacy line it's pretty clean look at the back of kickback pretty awesome yeah so yeah it looks pretty awesome what do you think uh, will you get this guy uh, for t under 25 bucks it's a pretty good deal and let me go back and bring you Minasaur so here's Minasaur and here's Dragstrip. I know is, this is the previous version of Combiner Wars. I don't have all the pieces for the Legacy line yet, but this is the one, the first one. But you can see why I don't like the Combiner Wars. So bulky, it looks weird. Um, this torso looks so fat. And look at the feet, it's so small for the body and the hands are all the same it can turn their feet or hands so it's kind of weird to me so that's why even though it combines some minasaur i like it it was cheap i think like the center guy um motor master was like around 30 bucks and these guys each for like 14 dollars but this guy costs around like 25 dollars and under so yeah, it costs a lot more, and I know the new Minasaur, if you pre-order them, it's like, what, $89? Or it's on sale for $89, and I see on Amazon for a lot more. But yeah, what do you guys think? How you like this Transformers line, Legacy? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get future notification of my new video on this channel. Thank you so much for watching my comparison, review, unboxing of this toy. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next toy review. Peace out.